what I have here is a function defined in pieces. And what I'm trying to do is portray this graphically. It helps to know pretty much what the pieces look like. Of course, y equals 2 minus x is a straight line that has a, a negative slope to it. y equals x minus 2 is a straight line that has a positive slope. y equals 0 is just a value. In this case, it only applies at one value of x, so that's only really going to give us one point. But what I'm going to do now is use that knowledge plus the fact that this line ends at x equals to 1, but does not actually include that value. So I'm going to find a couple of points on this graph. So I'm going to take some x value or an x value less than 1, say f of negative 1. In other words, I'm looking for what is the y value that goes with an x value of negative 1. In reading this notation, you sort of have to look at things a little backwards because really our first decision is which one of these should we be using. I notice here that x is less than 1, hence I should be using this expression. And that's where I'm going with it. If I substitute 2 minus x in here, it becomes 2 minus a minus 1 is plus 1. So the y-coordinate of this point will be 3. And I can graph that right up here. Each one of these ticks stands for 1. I don't want to clutter the drawing with numbers. Uh, how about where does it end? I'm not going to say what is f of 0, but I'm simply going to say where, should this, where is this line headed? at x equals to 1, it will go to a y value that is 2 minus 1, or in other words, 1. So I'm looking at x being 1 and y being 1, but I'm going to draw that as a hollow dot because really that is not part of my graph. It's simply where this line piece ends. And it's a straight line, so I can draw that piece pretty accurate. It goes on forever, but my board space doesn't. OK, what about this line? Th this one starts at x equals 1, but does not actually include that value. It's going to have another value. I'm going to take, well, what is f of 3? Notice 3 is bigger than 1, so I should be using this expression. So f of 3 will be th x, which is 3, minus 2, which is 1. So my point will have an x-coordinate of 3 and a y-coordinate of 1. And that puts it right there. All right, where was this thing originating? If I take 1 and put it in here, I end up with a y-value of 1 minus 2, which would be negative 1. So 1 and negative 1, plus the fact that that really isn't part of the graph. It's just where the line ends. I'm showing it as a hollow dot. And it's a straight line. So I know that that piece is going to look like this. Again, it's going to go on forever. The thing that I haven't used yet is this single, single point. If x is 1, y is 0, that's a point that has an x-coordinate of 1 and a y-coordinate of 0. So I'm showing that as a nice solid dot here. To make it clear when somebody gets here, gets to 1, where should they be looking for the y value? Eh, that's the place. And this now demonstrates the graph of something, a function that's defined in pieces. The, gra the, the equation of this piece is y equals 2 minus x. The equation of this piece is y equals x minus 2. But that pretty much describes and makes it fairly easy for somebody who wants to read the values exactly.